Hey, what's up everyone? So welcome back to another video. So we all know that Microsoft is trying to ditch the old Microsoft Edge to a newer Microsoft Edge Chromium edition, which I think it's great that Microsoft is doing that because of the add-ons and because of how Google tries to kind of limit other browsers. One example is limiting YouTube resources on other browsers. So YouTube works worse in other browsers than on Google Chrome or at least on browsers based on Chromium. You can even see that today uh, just by going into YouTube. You can see YouTube loads very, very slow. And even if you're going to, for example, you want to go into um, your account, let's go YouTube Studio Beta, it takes like a lot of time. You have to hear like loading YouTube Studio in Microsoft Edge, the newer one, uh, Chromium Edition or Google Chrome, you don't have this loading YouTube Studio. You can see even now it says loading YouTube Studio and then goes to the settings. But we're not here to talk about older Microsoft Edge. Uh, because we go into the future and not to the past. So in the left, I have the new Microsoft Edge Chromium. I have the developer version, so it should be more stable than the Canary one. Um, I'm on a version, uh, let's go about Microsoft Edge. I'm on the version 75.0.139. So we are still in like in beta stages or even alpha, uh, <laughs> however you want to call it. And Google Chrome, of course, it's already in development long, long time ago. So Google Chrome should work in theory better than Microsoft Edge Chromium, but we will see on these tests. So first of all, on the main page, Microsoft Edge is already doing a better job than Google. Because on Google, you get this first page and if you want to customize it a little bit, you have here at the bottom a button customize. And the only thing you have is Chrome backgrounds and you have some backgrounds, uh, you choose just whatever you want. Let's go for this one, done. And then you have a background on your uh, start page, but that's it. If you want to remove the background, you come here again and then restore default background. And that's it. You can't really do anything else on this, on this start page. While on Microsoft Edge, like I said, it's already doing a much better job than Google Chrome. This is the default option and you have here at the bottom personalized news and more. You click on it and then you have the MSN or the news from Microsoft. Uh, but if you don't want that, then you don't have to click on it or go to the bottom. But you have more customization. You have here the hamburger menu at the top. You click on it and then you have focused mode, which is a default one. Then you have inspirational one, which you get a background from Bing which changes daily, which that's very nice because you get bored of only one background every freaking time. So you have this uh, inspirational mode, you have uh, your different background every day, most recent websites that you go to, and then you have uh, s still the personalized news at the bottom. You see the background at the top still stays there. And then you have informational one, which for me, it's the best mode. Let's go into full screen, full screen. This is how it, it's in full screen uh, on the half screen. Yeah, yeah, now it's better before it was a bit uh, buggy. Um, it's, it's not perfect yet, but it works. So uh, inspiration, inspirational, it's what I use because I have a different background, my recent, my most recent websites, and then I still have the news feeds. Uh, sometimes I like to go and check some news, but uh, very rarely. This is like all in one, and uh, which is what I like. And then you have custom, which like I've said at the beginning, it has already more customization than Google Chrome. So if you want to have this inspirational mode, you can still like disable most visited sites, uh, still have the, the, the background, still have the news, or if you have, you know, or if you want to have the visited sites, but you don't have the image, you can go full white, or you want to have this and not have the feeds. You can do that as well. You have choices and that's what we as users want, choices, which um, on Google Chrome, you don't really have so much choices, at least for the start page. Now let's go into the settings, settings, and some settings and again microsoft edge at least in my opinion this is all my opinion of course it's already doing a much better jo job than google chrome because the settings on google chrome they are 
okay they are separated but it's you see it's all them big and you have to scroll down to understand where you want to go i was like i want to go to the to the download section where is the download section there is no download section well you have to go into advanced and then you have more options downloads and stuff like that or if you don't have pressed the, the, that advanced you can come here at the left top again press advanced and then you have downloads printing uh, appearance and then it will take you where you need i think this design uh, at least it's not that much for me while on microsoft edge it's all on the left side and all separated and very easy to go where you need to printing downloads very easy to go to downloads uh, startup appearance uh, let's go into appearance what has google chrome on appearance teams or open google, apple chrome store yeah show home button let's show it uh, show bookmarks bar let's show it uh, show home button as well it, so kind of the same show favorites bar always um, zoom as a font size page zoom font size so appearance is more or less the same we have also teams on google chrome so one point for that the settings are more or less the same because microsoft edge uses chromium so the settings should be more or less the same of course the design it's different but for me i like much more uh, this design on on microsoft edge bookmarks they are more or less kind of the same you can here you come at the settings as well uh, favorites uh, show favorite bars and never and here you have as well bookmarks and don't show bookmarks now another thing that microsoft edge does better than chrome already this menu design this menu design is from old microsoft edge uh, reworked which it's so much better to to scroll through it it's so so much better made than uh, chrome because on chrome it, this these settings look like from 2012 and not only this let's go for example uh, you press on the search bar you have as well this cool new menu while uh, on chrome you still have like the default old one so for me i like much more this newer design and this newer design will work so much better on like touch devices while here imagine it's pretty damn hard to press with your finger on a small device on like a small tablet also let's go with the uh, show bookmarks you help you press here on the apps you, you see you get this default menu while on microsoft edge uh, let's show uh, book show favorite bars always and you press on a favorite bar and you get this new cool uh, menu which i really really like this new cool menu you see it's bigger so like again it will work much better on touch devices now another thing that microsoft edge might be doing better than chrome is on add-ons i say might be doing because uh, chrome is the boss of the add-ons if you want any add-ons then you're gonna find on chrome teams open chrome web store apps and that's it while on microsoft edge extensions and on microsoft edge you have get extensions from microsoft store which at the moment of course is much inferior as chrome chrome store uh, but you have as well an option to allow extensions from other stores so you can install extensions from any store you block origin add to chrome add to chrome checking add extension add extension and both are downloading adding adding and Here I got a pop-up already that it added and on Chrome. Okay, only now it appeared, but okay, your block has uh, installed, blah, 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 turn on sync. I don't really want sync now. Uh, as well from Microsoft Store, I think there is a uh, uBlock. Let's see, uBlock origin, get, add extension. I don't think it will install because it's installed already. Let's see if it, <laughs> it installed two add blocks. Well, there you go you can install two ad blocks on microsoft edge i actually didn't try that but uh, well there you go google.com and let's open the task manager to see which one has better performance so google chrome 90 megabytes microsoft edge 78 so microsoft edge has already lower 
memory usage, RAM usage, then Chrome and Microsoft Edge is still in like a beta alpha version. The difference now, it's not much. Uh, points for Microsoft Edge for delivering Chromium engine, a design from Microsoft Edge and still having a good damn performance. If we go to YouTube, let's try to go to YouTube to see uh, the performance. Um, then, uh, well, Microsoft Edge still wins on performance on YouTube. The difference is not big, but well, it's there. So this was more or less, guys. I wanted to do like a comparison going into websites, uh, but, but yeah, that will be easy to do in a touch device, but on PC, how I have only one mouse, uh, well, I can't click like in a website at the same time in both browsers. For example, if I click on YouTube, oh, I, damn. I can't click both at the same time. In the end, what matters is uh, the RAM usage between these two browsers and the features that both of them give us. In my opinion, Microsoft Edge at the moment gives us more options and more customization. But anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'm out.